Hey guys, how's it going? Ghost of Richard today, and today we're going to be mounting the new frame TV. It comes with this new mounting system. Make sure you grab these bad boys so they're out like this. And we will use those in a second. Let's see these. First thing you're going to do is peel it and stick it. So line it up like so. And then you peel it off of here by peeling the black off of the clear and stick it there with the arrows facing each other. Next thing, line it up like so. Take your screw and put that spacer on it so the little nipple there is sticking up. Put it in like so. Take a screwdriver and give those a tighten down. Make sure this moves freely. When you go to do the final tighten, make sure that it's in between these two metal grooves so it sits in there. Next thing you want to do is hook these on and they don't really hold until it's on a tilt. But if you take a look, you can see if it's in a line just by going on the back of the TV so we can make sure we're level. So two measurements I want. I want this one. So this one, as you can see, if I hook that on right there, I can see that if I hooked it right there, I would be about 22. So I know that it has to be 22 up from where I want it. So if you're adding a sound bar, and let's say it's five inches, so you want five inches on your mantle plus that. So it'd be 27 inches high. Now, if we come over here, you can see we have 36 inches of play. Now, why is that something you need to know? Because you need to hit two studs. You need to hit one here and here. Chances are, right in the center of the wall, if, you have, if you're trying to mount this in the center of a wall, you'll have a center stud. So you're gonna have to hit 16 over this way and 16 over this way. So just make sure that you measure off your center to where the wood is. So this is my center, these are my two studs. Now to make this work, what you have to do is take this and measure up from there. As you can see, if I got it close enough, we're at three quarter there, it's 37 and three quarter. Now if I came over here, I came over here and did the same thing on the other stud. So that way my holes are gonna be at the exact same height. It's really important that you do that and make sure that you're measuring off of a level surface. So that way you know. So if you're measuring off a mantle, that is gonna be super easy. Once you have those two measurements, now we're gonna go ahead and mount those two brackets and make sure that you have your center marked like I do. So that way I can measure off the back of the TV and mirror image it onto here. So that way I know for sure my TV is gonna sit center. A couple quick things. These are not for drywall. These are concrete anchors, so do not Whatever you do, put these into drywall, your TV will fall off the wall. Next thing, these new remotes have a solar panel on the back, so feel free to leave this near some light source so your remote will charge automatically. So checking from there to right here, we're 35. Again, just making sure I've measured from here to here, which was 35 in total, 17 and a half in the center. Now this is for a 55. If you have a 65, it'll be more. If you have a 75, it'll be more. So make sure you measure the width of your hooks and you measure to where your center is and then make sure your center lines up or the center of the TV lines up on the wall in your center point exactly where you want it. Let's go ahead and clip this on. Don't worry 100%, like if it's off by an eighth or something, we'll be able to move the TV to make it level out. Okay, then you're gonna have this. For me, I'm gonna be hiding it, so that'll go down here. And then this part will go into the back of the TV. Um, make sure that uh, you do not kink this cable. It's a very expensive mistake if this breaks. Pull these all the way out and lift it and put those in the two hooks on the back of that bracket. Let's lift it on. So we've got the TV super close to the wall, as you can see. Something to note that this is not a no gap wall mount. There is always a small gap behind it. So next thing you're gonna do is, if you want to save the paint behind the TV, go ahead, take these, peel them, and pull the TV a little bit away from the wall and stick them onto the back of each corner. It'll put this between the TV and the wall, and it allows for a little bit of air circulation to push up and through, and then you can tuck also in the rest of this slack. As you can see, you can pull this forward to do that. I like to put the TV up first so I can see if there's any like indents or anything in the wall, so that way I can put this on the most out part of the wall just in case there is any. As you can see, we're actually bang on, but if you see, I can throw the TV out, just adjust it like you would a picture frame, just uh, shifting the weight of the TV and the magnet will hold it into position. As you can see, there we go. Go ahead, hook up your one connect box and let's power this thing up. 
other than that, that's all there is for installing this wall mount for the frame TV and also for the newer Q series. Thanks again for watching. Press a little like if it helped you out and subscribe for more.